fishing the drop shot and we did we caught a couple fish down at the other pond but over here we got a lot of algae and some moss and a lot of just pond scum and so drop shot will be a no-go so what I'm thinking is I will try a shaky head and if that doesn't work out we will move to a uh, you know like a craw or something like that the jig yesterday or a couple days ago when I was fishing the jig in here it was getting a little bit too gummed up for my liking so maybe the shaky head will do the trick for us today all right we're gonna try out this shaky head we'll see how this goes here one just swam right off there we've got a change in game plan we're gonna throw this popper and see what happens that that shaky head was just getting so mucked up with the moss and stuff so it's just kind of getting annoying so switching up to the top water holy crap where did this come from there we go. so we're switching up to the top water just kind of keep it off the bottom and out of the junk um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't really fish with poppers all that much Oh, <laughs> so smooth. Didn't wait long enough. I need to hurry up and start catching some fish. Otherwise, this is just going to be a video of me casting. See all this? This is called filamentous green algae. And it is so annoying. That's a good one. I was just kind of swimming the frog. Oh yeah. Oh, about dang time. Caught him on this little ribbit frog that, uh, basically just reel it and it comes across the top of the water but I was kind of swimming it right under the surface with a 5 aught gamakatsu hook I hooked him good, holy smokes I'm glad to see the fish in this pond a little bigger than they used to be a couple years ago these we were only catching like two pounders in here and now they're getting a little bit bigger. So, nice, nice, nice fish. I'd say it's a good three and a half, four pounds. So, let's let him go. Be free, bud. Nice. Got another one. Not quite as big, but it's all right.
Not a bad one. I'll take him. Alright, well my camera battery just died and my other battery is on the charger at the house so um, that's going to wrap up this video. What I was using was these Ribbit Frogs uh, with a watermelon red slash pearl. So these are actually my go-to Ribbit Frog if I'm going to use them and I really like them especially in farm ponds like this because you can just keep casting they're like a buzz bait you don't have to pop them I mean I love them they're great and I catch a lot of fish on them um, other than that I mean this pond has definitely been in better shape because there's a lot of vegetation in there and that gets very annoying so it kind of limits what I can fish with in this pond but nonetheless we did a great job fishing today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave me a thumbs up let me know that you liked it and I will catch you on the next video